This presentation from Landcare Technology is to show how our new media can revolutionize classroom learning experience. Mixed reality concept can be related to what students have always seen in Hollywood science fiction movies, holograms. And this is its counterpart in the real world. This is mixed reality. Mixed reality combines or mix the real world with virtual 3D objects, allowing the two realities to coexist and interact seamlessly. Simply put, the mixed reality is a presentation technology that displays predefined 3D objects over the viewer's physical world that is captured by the camera. The 3D image is displayed in such positions that seems like there is a real physical object lying on top of the book. In the underlying software system, the camera connects to our software on a PC, sending live video feed. When it detects a square marker, the software reads the marker like a barcode, get the corresponding 3D model stored in the computer, calculate the precision on the marker, and lastly, display the 3D models in exactly the same position as the marker. The model can also interact with each other. For example, when put close together, the oxygen and hydrogen atoms can combine into an H2O molecule, water. In our chemistry lesson, we design the interaction method so that each molecule car can show its various properties, such as its shape or electron position by the user moving the property card over the molecule card. Then the molecule card will change its model into the corresponding property. So in this mixed variety molecular shape lesson, we have 13 cards for each unique type of molecule and 5 property cards to show each molecule's property when bringing it near them. Teachers commented that many molecules' properties, such as seesaw shape or H2O's electron positions, are very difficult to comprehend without tools like this. There are even an information property card used for displaying each molecule's info, together with an audio narration. Now, when this new learning media are applied in real classrooms in real learning environments, they are mainly used as teaching aids for teachers when explaining these difficult concepts, replacing blackboards and textbook illustrations, which became complementary tools. Teachers would teach normally, but use the media when making points and demonstrating concepts. The students were also given an opportunity to use the media and learn and experiment on their own. In producing our mixed reality learning media lessons, we work together with the Institution for the Promotion of Teaching Science and Technology, a state agency under the Ministry of Education, which is responsible for creating learning materials to be distributed and used in state schools nationwide. This one-of-a-kind chemistry lesson is among the products that came out. Our company conducted studies to see if this new media achieved the effects it was intended for, and the results were very positive. On teachers' part, 71% of teachers and education experts strongly agree that the learning media helped teachers in explaining and teaching contents to their students. On students' part, 65% strongly agree that the learning media made lessons easier to understand and helped them learn better. Astonishingly, almost 90% strongly agree that it made the lesson more interesting. They pay more attention to the class. This factor is an important one that is not easily achieved using conventional teaching media. Let's hear some comment from a student in those classes. <laughs> Academic and expert in this field believe the same way. Dr. Sanchai, the head of education technology department, said this technology has clear advantage over other media. Dr. Sarin, the director of IPST, 
said to the Minister of Education that this is the future of education. We are still working with Ministry of Education, producing more lessons on more subjects, so our learning media will cover many of the complex science concepts taught in high school these days. Magnetic fields, force fields, 3D structures, these topics are difficult to understand and we intend to help the students with our learning media. When finished, these lessons will be gradually distributed by the ministry to many public schools across Thailand. This media, a self-study geology book, teaches students about earth structure. As students read on, they can view the 3D contents by bringing in a corresponding colored arrow marker, as indicated on each page. Just like the chemistry lesson, the academic content and subject outline is received and set by the IPST under the Ministry of Education. We work closely with the IPST and a royal scholar to produce the 3D book that is both informative and entertaining. This book named Robots is about, well, robots. It is aimed at a bit younger audience. This innovative work over the past several years have garnered several awards and recognitions, both local and international, such as the prestigious IT Princess Award 2007, and we were ranked third in the National Innovation Agency's Top 10 Innovative Business 2007, and the National Innovation Awards 2008 in Social Contribution. Currently, we are also cooperating in Software for Society Project, a CSR project to distribute our mixed reality learning media to 80 more schools across Thailand free of charge. Back in IT field, we won the Thailand ICT Award 2007, which makes us a country representative in the Asia Pacific ICT Award 2007. In this international event, we overcome fierce competition to win first prize in the research and development category. Finally, we were selected to enter the Software Park Hall of Fame 2008 in recognition to our achievement and contribution to Thai society. Finally, I hope our company has given you some new insights and useful ideas of how classroom and education of the future might look like. On behalf of our Lankia technology, I would like to thank all of you for your attention. Thank you very much.